watching them, they want to stay on their toes, and they really need to understand that when people are starting to pay attention, and with all the communication going on right now in the valley, along the Los Angeles front, people are really starting to pay attention to air quality issues, it's getting that time, and so this is something people are very interested in. So the DAQ needs to understand that in the future, we're really going to be paying close attention to everything that goes on. Yeah. Um, um, you know, the board was sort of going through routine uh, procedures and, and that kind of thing. Um, there wasn't any kind of response or invitation to talk. Or, were you expecting anything yeah, about were you expecting any outreach? No, and in fact, I mean, and formerly when we've been invited to talk and we've been told that there was room and time for public comments, um, we've had everything pushed back to the back of the agenda and we haven't had time to comment. Um, on the Kennecott expansion, very few of us actually ever had time to even make public comments on the Kennecott expansion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, uh, are, are, do you see uh, um, peaceful uprising uh, attending every meeting, starting to monitor even more? How, how do you see your role in the future uh, today? Uh, we've had a representative at about every meeting in the last couple of years, so we have been attending every meeting. And um, as far as what we're, what's going on in the future, it's come to a point where the air quality in this valley is so bad that an increase due to the Kennecott expansion will be absolutely unlivable for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And um, at a recent event that we held, we held a protest, um, protesting the Rio Tinto name being put on our new, our, on our new natural history museum, yeah. which is unfortunately a yeah. place of science. And um, a man who identified himself as a Rio Tinto executive came up to me and harassed me for several minutes and told me he was mad with me. But um, I, when I told him I had asthma and I couldn't breathe, and I asked him, what about the people with asthma? How can you yell at me about your operations and your profits? He told me that I should move, that people with health problems should move. And you know what? I think that's an excellent idea. I think that may be our only solution at this point. We should tell our friends and family and businesses that are looking to relocate to Utah that they should not come here because the health of people is at stake. Yeah. Do you see what you did today as, how would you characterize it? Is it a, is it a, a protest? Is it a, a mini rally? Is it a, a disruption? Is it a cry out? What, how do you think about that? In a way, it's public shaming. Each one of these folks, most of them represent different industries and have varied interests. And when we've come and watched them testify at hearings, and they've testified in favor of their specific industries, mm -hmm. um, it's been really disgusting. I mean, they're here advocating for specific industries, and they're not here advocating for air quality. So this is public shaming. I think it's very important that we start to call out public officials and people on regulatory boards personally and ask, why are you here? What are your motivations? Why aren't you acting in our best interests? Yeah. Okay. Well, I really appreciate it. I did. Okay. I did. I actually, I never get here early, but I did this time. Okay. Yeah. So you just...